Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Love by Chandan Snuri and I'm back with the Galaxy S6 Edge and today we're gonna install the Dot OS on it and in past couple of days this ROM has been getting a lot popular so uh, we're just gonna install it and review it so first of all what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn off our device and for this you need to root your device first of all and have a custom recovery and if you haven't done that I've already made a video about it and link to the video will be right over here so let's go into the custom recovery now and we're just gonna press volume up key home key and power key at the same time and the device will start booting into the custom recovery and let go of the power key now so here the device is booting into the custom recovery and hey if you get any of these notifications at any time just swipe to allow modifications this is just to allow a newer version so we're gonna go in wipe and we're gonna go in advanced wipe and we're gonna select the Dalvik ART cache system data and cache over here and we're gonna swipe to wipe this will wipe your device off its original ROM don't worry it will not wipe your data as long as you have not selected the internal storage in that advanced wipe now go back back and back and we're gonna go and install and here you're gonna find your dot os so we're gonna select this and swipe to confirm flash so this rom is a aosp based rom what that means is it is a stock android based rom so it will be fast and it will be great to look at these roms generally does not come with the google applications so you have to install them separately and that is an easy thing to do and i've already made a video about it once again and link to the video will be right over here so the rom is installed now and we're going to reboot the system so you can see how easy the process is and how quickly you can install the dot s on your rom and this custom new animation looks amazing the boot animation is great over here it is fun to look at and it is a little bit close to the google ones but it is not exactly the same so the device is booting up and the device generally takes up 10 to 15 minutes when you first boot up your new custom rom so put your device aside for 10 15 minutes and don't worry about it it will boot perfectly so guys the device is booted up and it was quicker than i thought it would be and this rom feels amazing and it looks really good uh, it is a little bit different than the stock rom it has different icons and a modified uh, launcher you would say and you have a little difference in the battery icon over there but it looks amazing the icons are really fun to look at and here you have the phone application which has a different color than original so you have the messages app so all the applications are same but they are a little modified to have a little bit different ui than usual so let's go into the camera application let's allow this and the camera application seems the same and does not have a much of a difference over here and you have a icon over here for the browser which looks a lot like safari and it opens up the google chrome so let's go into the application drawer and here you have the clock application the dot papers which is i think something to change your ui so you have to connect to the internet so that is that and you have your files over here you have the gallery so let's get out you have the gallery so that is that and once again the rom does not come with the google applications you have to install them separately and the rom does not also have super sue or the magic so you're gonna have to go into the custom recovery and install the magic separately so i will show you how to download magic in a couple of seconds let's get into the settings and here you have the normal stock android settings you have the android version 7.1.2 which is nougat and it is the latest version of nougat and you have a separate software information icon over here which is not a nougat icon over here so let's get into installing the magic in this rom so you're just gonna quickly connect to your internet so it is now connected and you have to download a file from the xg developer website and link to that file will be down in the description so i'm just gonna download it so the file is downloading now and you can download this file from your computer and put it in your device or you can directly download it to your device so i've just downloaded it and let's just turn off your device once again power it off so let's go into the custom recovery and to do that we're just gonna press volume up key home key and power key at the same time and let go of the power key now so let's go into install here you're gonna locate your file that you have just downloaded and i have directly downloaded the file into the device so i'm just gonna go and download and there 
the file would be so here it is matches version 16.0 and we're gonna swipe to confirm flash so it is now installing the matches on my device and the greatest thing about magic is it behaves like super su it also behaves like the it also behaves like the exposed framework and it also and you can use snapchat with this as well so let's reboot the device you guys heard me right you can use snapchat on your rooted device with magic install so this is just the greatest functionality of the magic it lets you use the snapchat and there is no worry about it so the device has booted up and for some reason the blue light filter is on i will turn it off later and here you have the magic so here you have all the features of the magic so you can see that you already have a update over here so you you can download that and just try the safety net check and it will pass and you can use a snapchat so guys i think that's it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to this channel and do follow me on instagram as well this is chitanya signing off